Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, Secretary Bruyette, thank you for being here with us. Let me say, add my voice of congratulations to your confirmation as Secretary. Thank you, sir. I might say that I'm guessing you are an inspiration to many of the staffers on this committee to reach the highest uh, <laughs> position. <laughs> Maybe some of the members, too. You trained me well, though. <laughs> but anyway, congratulations to you. Certainly the Department of Energy, as you know, has a huge footprint in my district in eastern it Washington. And, uh, looking, looking forward very much to uh, partnering, working with you. Uh, so let me just um, uh, say ab about the proposed budget uh, that's before us and characterize it in two ways. We have good news, but we also have some bad news. And uh, I'll talk about the good news first. Um, you talked about this a little bit already, but as, as, as you mentioned, the Pacific Northwest National Laboratories in my district, uh, certainly one of the crown jewels of the lab system uh, for the Department of Energy. We're very proud of it, all of its uh, research and development efforts. Um, one of the uh, lab's uh, areas of unique expertise is in the grid uh, scale energy storage, which you already mentioned. Uh, sure. That's going to be critical to the electric grid of the future, and so critical to the country's future. Um, I think all of us would agree that a reliable and affordable energy storage is critical to maintaining a resilient uh, grid as we modernize and bring more renewable sources online, and you've addressed that. Um, one critical element of that work uh, is the grid storage launch pad facility at the lab, and I'm, I'm certainly delighted to see such strong support from the administration for that effort in the budget. Uh, so a couple things on that. I'd like you to uh, walk us through the administration's thinking on this important effort, um, why it's such an important priority for the department uh, and our energy storage goals. Um, also, how will the, the uh, grid storage launch, launch pad benefit the greater R&D moonshot goals on energy storage? And also, could you talk about this strategy that you're deploying through the Office of Electricity uh, funding in this budget, not only for the construction uh, of the facility, but also to ensure that the department uh, is uh, ready and armed with the requisite equipment and the personnel uh, that's going to be needed uh, on into the future to be successful. Great. Thank you. Thank you for that, uh, sir. Um, <clears throat> this is an absolutely critical uh, facility for us. As I mentioned earlier in, in the testimony, uh, the adoption of renewable technologies has grown at an enormous clip. I was just handed this morning a report from EIA that says that um, wind energy for the first time is going to exceed hydroelectric energy uh, in the United States. That's an, a very important... Um, is this working? Not anymore. <laughs> okay. Right, it is. That, that's an inver a very important development, and um, we want to see that continue. Uh, you know, as the president has mentioned in the past, as Secretary, former Secretary Perry and I have talked about for some time now, uh, we do believe that energy diversity, uh, diversity of supply, diversity of, of suppliers is important to our energy security as well as our national security. So all of these renewable technologies need to come online. In the past, what has allowed them to come online is the provision of base load power. We need to move beyond that. You know, we need to get to what I mentioned earlier is grid scale battery storage. And that allows, you know, people to move even further, perhaps even to one day where we achieve the, a goal of 100 percent renewables. Who knows? It's not available today. We can't do it today. We have to have this type of facility in order for us to do the research that's necessary to achieve the battery technologies that we all want to achieve. So we're going to be fully committed to this. And in the budget, you will see uh, we have established a grand challenge uh, around this. We've asked for money, $158 million or so. Um, that's going to go into this initiative. And uh, should you provide it, we will focus specifically on these technologies. Uh, with regard to the other work that PNNL is doing, I'll just mention real quickly, um, they are not only key to battery storage. As I mentioned earlier, all of our supercomputing efforts, all of our big data efforts are centered at PNNL. Uh, their tech, their uh, expertise in this area is absolutely in essential. Uh, their expertise in artificial intelligence is absolutely essential if we are to achieve 
any of our renewable goals anywhere in the country. Excellent. Well, like I said, I look forward to being continue working with you and look forward to a second round of questions. Yes, sir. Thank you.